at the zoo, the zoo at the zoo. What can you see at the zoo? Lions and tigers and elephants too. Maybe a monkey or two. You might see a giraffe or an ostrich. A panda eating bamboo at the zoo. At the zoo. Hello and welcome, welcome to Planet Zoo and welcome to At The Zoo. Yes, it's a franchise series and we are banging out episode three at the moment. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm not doing too bad at all. So, building the fox enclosure that's to our left-hand side. Um, actually, one of them is just about to breed. So that is great. So one of them is actually pregnant, I believe. Oh, hang on. Oh, they've had it already. Um, these must be the two babes. Yep. Excellent. And the female. Offspring imminent. So they're going to breed. She's going to give birth again. She, obviously three babies isn't enough. So she wants to bang out more. That's up to her. As long as she doesn't claim benefits. Right. So. What we're going to do. Is we're going to actually process. Um, we're going to increase this here. Now. I, I was watching Smudge Gaming. Okay. Um, and I want some badges. Now, I do want some badges. I have got enough CC for it. But I won't just go and spend it nilly willy. Everything I do in this series, I want for payback. So, I need stuff to pay back. So, let's have a look and see. See how much they are first. Okay. So, a European badger. Um, I'm only interested in CC. Right, okay. So, we've got a 17 there. But we've only got males. Oh, there's a female there. I'd like two gold ones if I can. That's 2.1 years. Okay, I won't get any yet. Um, what other bit? Let's 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 do one from Europe, shall we? A deer. Okay, so it's a thousand. George, sell. So he's obviously doing it to make a profit. Mind you, it's pretty good stats to be fair. Um, any females? Is there any females in there at all? Just one. The size isn't too great in that either. Okay, that will be fine. Let's we'll worry about that when we get to it. Right. Let's have a look on the research side of it. Obviously we've got a lot to research. Uh, mechanic wise, I think we're near one done. We've got the European theme that we will do. So let's start doing the Europe. So th this is gonna be the new world here, okay? So, we're going to have the new world, this bit here. Or there, I would say. We've got our main bit here. Okay. So, it's going to go up that way. And we're going to go to the right. These will need to be moved. Um, because I don't think... Yes, yeah, get in the water. So, we could add this further back down. Actually, if, if I put that... So let's put that. We've got the youngsters. We've got a female there. These are going to fight. Are they both female? And they're trying to be the dominant. No. Um. Right. We've got a female there at nine years. We we'll get rid of that as well. Excellent. Right. Oh, they're climbing up the tree, being naughty. As you can see at the moment, we have a breeding problem with snow leopards. There is loads of them. Um, right, let's uh, send that one to storage and then we can actually put them on the marketplace. Hopefully we'll get some money for them. 
Uh, right, animal storage. Let's have a look. Let's reset all of them. We've got 26 in here now. Uh, snow leopard. We trade and we're going to put that at... Seven. Snow leopard not as good, so I'll leave that at 45. Again, a bit old, so... Um, we trade the blue, that's gold, so I might be able to get a little bit more for that. Let's say 800 for that. Excellent, right. Now here is going to be the new world, okay? So this is going to go to Europe. It's going to be Europe things. I want to try and see if I can build a Europe area. Um, not great. So let's have a look and see if we've actually, if there's any research that's been done by the mechanic yet. No, he's still, he's still actually researching it, and it? it's the only one we've got to do, I think. I think everything else has been researched, so it's just the Europe that needs doing. Um, what about the fair? That needs to be done. Right. Okay. So we can't do the Europe yet. Right. We got right. So we got fined, didn't we? Seven hundred and fifty. That was a sh bit of a shame. Um. But you know, we'll see how it goes. So, let's do the badges, shall we? Uh, oh, hang on, we've got two people visiting. Unicorn and Blink Madden. Um, I think we can put the badges in here now. I know they're Europe, and they're not really in the Europe area. But I'm going to try and get the badges in here. Hello, guys. Hope you're okay. I'm not doing too bad at all. So, I have. Many hours have gone by. But, I'm just finishing off putting the fences along here and we have a new enclosure yes right in front of you it is for the peafowl indian peafowl and it is an open area it's taken me some time um but i think i'm basically there so i'll have a quick i'll show you quickly now um this is going to be like a little lake i'm gonna have quite a lot of rivers and stuff through here anyway because um, I, I just like it. Um, we're going to have a new sign here. So this is towards Europe. Europe's going to be over that side now. Couldn't do any Europe because I haven't got... I'm still researching it. So um, I'll put that on the ground because that would be a better place for it, wouldn't it? Still not on the ground. Thank you, Doki. Beautiful. No, it's still having problems. I'll sort that out in a minute. Right, so, um, this is the new P Indian peafowl habitat. Now, it, I'm still not happy with it. Um, it's taken me some time, especially getting these fences to go around the corner. And when you actually push tab, it's easier because it, it literally puts the next one straight on. So you don't have to try and line it up either. Um, but I have, I've done it eventually. These are the bamboo fencing, as you can see. It's spent a long time trying to get these right. And they are right now. As you see, you've got the education speakers that go all the way around. And this is actually a walkthrough area. At the moment, it isn't. Well, it is, because there's shops in here, but um, there's no animals in here. So, as you can see, when you're going around, you've got this little seating area here. And I've raised it and put it lowered down here, so you can actually oversee stuff as well. Especially when you're sitting here. It's quite a nice view. Um, when it's not raining. I've done this. This little um, bit here. That took ages to do. Um, but yeah. No. It's done now. So that's good. And I've even put. If I can get down and show you. At the moment. It's not letting me. For some reason. There you go. Let's get under here out of the rain. So we've got some shops here. I've got to put signs on them. I haven't finished doing the signs yet. It's all New World custom scenery that I've used. And then obviously you've got this here. It's just glass panels really. It's quite a simple design. 
you know I'm not very good at designs but um, yeah th that is it's just a basic design and then I put some like this this great plant wisteria trunk around it just to cover the pole because it looked ugly um, yeah so they can walk here so this is a walking area here um, that's the only place that you can actually walk into this environment I was going to have one coming down here and going across the bridge and going around but people can see it from this side as well when you actually walk in here um, so I, 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 I don't think it's needed um, so yeah so we've got the main bits got the shops again I haven't changed anything this this is still the same um, and these gates are planet zoo fences not new world smudge just to let you know um all individual take absolutely forever to join up oh bloom 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 well, let's pop the balloons oh yes yes get in there so yeah this is how we are at the moment i'm going to finish this off because it's nowhere near finished yet um this is going to be like a mountain sort of area here just to get rid of the path system and stuff because it looks quite ugly um so yeah we're going to go off here and then we're just going to keep going and we're going to go into Europe that's going to be in this right hand side corner. So this is all going to be Europe. I know I put Indian pea fowl there. But what it's going to do there, it's not just going to have Indian, we're going to have English ones as well. So we're going to sort of mix them up a little bit there. Um, so yeah, we've got, this is going to be Europe here. We're going to have Africa over there and so on. So that is where we are at the moment. I'm just putting fences around here. And then put some bushes in, just so the uh, no one falls into the, the water. So once I've done this and finished off some other little bits, I shall so bring guys, you back. Guys, welcome back, welcome back. As you can see, we are making shitloads of money at the moment. Um, my total profit is 26, nearly 27,000. Um, last year was 31 nearly. Um, so we're doing quite well. Um, again... As you see before, I add this lake in here, and then obviously add the new enclosure that I've just done, ready to be opening. We've got some P files in the actual train centre, so that's good. But I wanted to try and make a little bit more of an idea on the actual area here. So this was just water a minute ago, if you remember correctly. It isn't finished yet. I've got to redo the building and the construction bit that I've done. As you can see, I highlight it now. Um, so I need to do it. I need to put them on in a block as well. So it looks like they're not floating um, But this is going to be another little area Probably gonna have another um, Probably gonna have another shop over there as well um, But yeah, this is gonna be like a little it's meant to be like a floating Restaurant -y looking thing on the water, but it didn't really turn out like that um, It is in my head, but actually down on paper and actually in real life. It doesn't seem to work <laughs> Um, but it's great. I mean, I could have just extended it here and we could have had a whole block of eating areas, but, um, I like doing stuff iggly piggly, you know? Um, so this is going to be another little area. We're going to have some sort of scene in here and then I've just put loads of bamboo around it as well. Hello guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. You catch me on, I've decided to change my mind on what I was doing um, I've opened a restaurant. Yes, I have indeed. So this is the restaurant so far. It's a I'm going for a European sort of theme um, and I'm just Finishing off the back end of it. I've done the front as you can see all beautiful I've got some flowers and other little props. I've got to put round on it um, But this is the restaurant Hello guys. Itself. Welcome back. Welcome back. So it has been a good two hours now um, When I started doing this recording it was quite a long time ago. It is taking me quite a long time to sort it out. Um, so this is the area, as you remember, this is where the water was. Um, now it's a thriving little area. Um, I've gone more with the American theme, I suppose you would call it. Um, I was gonna do the same as what I've done in this area here. Um, I wanted to sort of spruce it up a little bit, you know, make it a little bit different. Um, so that's what I've done here. So as you can see, it is sort of spruced up. Got a little middle area for planting and stuff. Then we've got the scenery bit here. And then we've got this house. I'm quite proud of actually. It's come out quite well. Um, 
and this is a restaurant as you can see it's all fully booked as you can see through the window um loads of people eating in there again i need to finish it off i've left the trees there to give it a little bit of a nature look um but they overlook in the glass window the peafowl that i will be sorting out very soon so this is the restaurant that is good um and i've, I've gone for sort of a europe look australia uh, austrian sort of look i suppose really not really europe but um but yeah th there it is there so if if i do need more tables i'm gonna try and see if i can put some stairs up and they can eat outside i think that'd be quite nice because they can overlook stuff then when they're eating so i might even do that yet i'm not too sure but at the moment it's all inside um, but some of the tables i might put out on the balcony area and then obviously i've just put the fence around that i did earlier um that's all i've done so far as you can see the money we're nearly at four hundred thousand pounds um that proves that really that you don't need so many animals here um you know i've only got three sets that one or four four sets i will have but i've just got the meerkats the fox and the snow leopards that's all i've got here but again it's still making me loads of money um again it's the shops the shops are the main thing in this game that make the money like in real life to be honest the markup on food drink and stuff like that is phenomenal um so yeah that that is basically it i've got um the restaurant going now so that's gonna get that's gonna net me quite a bit because when you come in here restaurant themselves that's made three and a half thousand at the moment <clears throat> hundred thousand is good um and the markup 1750 for a stone baked pizza meal then you've got a her but half pound burger meal 1850 and then you can put the um things on if, if you need i'm tempted to actually do the unlimited drinks because that'll make the guests happier So yeah, there's no vendor at the moment. Um, let's just get a vendor in here quickly. Let's see if they go in. Should do, yep. Yeah. So that is open. So you'll see the people come in and then they go in. They order their book in and then they go over to here that's in the actual restaurant. See if there are any coming in. Yeah, here they come. They book a table. And then they go. But they will go and get a seating area somewhere in here. There they are. So they're eating ice cream. He's eating a burger. Um, I like the restaurants. I don't normally do restaurants, but it's quite intense in here. Look, see the, so the staff have got quite a nature sort of look. So when they're prepping meals and they're cooking and stuff like that, they've got quite a nice um, lookout, if you like. Nice nature look. She's doing the oven stuff there. But it does get very popular. Like that. Makes a lot of right. money. Let's see. Are they coming? Oh, God, look at them all. Look. All miserable. Look. look at them all. Look. Loads of them coming in. How many is in here? Oh my god. All the caretakers, weirdly enough. Alright, here comes one here. Let's see if they're okay with it. Too few adults. So it needs, so it's a male Indian peafowl. not sure if we can have that loose or not I'm, I'm I think you can but I'm sure you can 
Right, so that's a male peafowl. So let's go and see if we've got on the market female. Right, as always, I'm interested in the CC only. How old? Oh, that's not too bad. I know it's a male, I know it's a male. We have one female and two males. Right, female white. How old? No, that's good, I like that. Excellent. Where's the peafowl? There he is. So, as I say, I was going to do some, like, you know, paths going around here so they can look around. And I still might do that, but I decided not to in the end. But I was going to go over here. And then maybe round here. Um, I'll have to see. But I'd imagine it's going to hold quite a few of them, to be fair. Right, has that improved the social? Yes, it has. Excellent. Cushy. And obviously, I put their bottom bit there at the back. And then they got this little shelter as well. Um... But to be fair, that they've got everything now, so that's good. So that's others. As you can see, there is loads and loads of people yeah, coming all down running there. out. Is that I think it's because of that um, big one? It might not be, but I think it's because of him. Let's take him to the and see if they do it then. Normally you have one in and one out, but... There's not a lot to do here. Let's get out of here. It's nice to see the Indian look so happy. Let's see what this group does. We're well, not very happy at all. I'm not impressed at all by the view of this. Oh god. Yeah, they're going in there now. It's because I had that. But oh no, they're turning around and they're going back out again. Birds are going over there. Oh, hang on, we've got a problem with the meerkats here. Social animals severely thingy space. I know it'd be space. They're breeding like anything at the moment, and trying to get space is a nightmare. Oh, I see it. Got protesters there, but. I've got rid of at least four or five. I've got so many in the store area at the moment. It's incredible. Um, right, we do need to get another Mechanico. Right. Right, he's going to mend that for me. Um, I just realised we only had one Meerkat, so... Oh, Meerkat. We only had one thing in my bob. Right, okay, so yeah, they're all, they're all looking around now. They're going to use a cash machine. Actually, it would be a point to do another one. Actually, it'd be better if I did that at um, the restaurant as well. Uh, finance, cash machine. Excellent. Let's put some 
bits and bobs up because obviously a lot of people are going to stand here even though they can go in and do it Excellent. Right, we will finish that off. Um, not finished yet, but oh, they're about to mate, so that's good. Um, I'm quite happy with that. It's quite a good habitat. I think that's probably one of the best habitats I've ever done. Um, I've got a little shout every. I don't even know if they use that sort of shout up, but I'll put it in anyway. Um, right, guys, that that will be it. I'm going to leave that there. Let's turn that off. Right. Until next time, thanks for joining me. This has been another episode of Planet Zoo. Um, we are at the zoo. So, if you like the video, then please like and please subscribe at the bottom right-hand corner. Until next time, I shall see you in another video. See you later.